Hello students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall take up the following question. What must be added to x raised to power 5 minus x raised to power 4 plus 3x cube plus 4x square minus 3x minus 3 so that the sum may be exactly divisible by x square plus 1. Now in this question, we have to find a term which should be added to the dividend so that the resulting polynomial or sum is exactly divisible by the divisor that is x square plus 1. We shall use long division method to solve this question. The three steps of long division are division, multiplication and subtraction. Now first of all let me explain this question by taking an example in case of whole number. Suppose we have a question what must be added to 37 so that the sum may be exactly divisible by 5. Now over here we know that division algorithm is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. And if we have to divide 35 by 5, we can easily get 0 as remainder and 7 as quotient. And if we'll put the values in division algorithm, we shall get 35 is equal to 5 into 7 plus 0. Now we come to a question that is we have to divide 37 by 5. Now over here we shall get remainder 2. As you can see, uh, 5 into 7 is 35 and 37 minus 35 is 2. So we are getting remainder 2. Now when we shall put the values in the division algorithm, we shall write 37 is equal to 5 into 7 plus 2. Now since 2 is the remainder over here, we can say that 37 is not exactly divisible by 5. And we need to add some term to 37 to make it exactly divisible by 5. So let us assume the number to be added to the dividend be a. So the new dividend is 37 plus a and we shall divide it by 5. We are getting the remainder 2 plus a. Now over here we have to find this value of a such that 2 plus a is completely divisible by 5. So what we can do is we can equate 2 plus a is equal to 5 Further, a is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, what is our a? a is our 3, which we will add to the dividend, that is 37, and we shall get 40, which is exactly divisible by 5. Let us check. When we will divide 40 by 5, we will get 0 as the remainder. So, now this new dividend, that is 40, is completely divisible by 5. When we added 3 to the original dividend, that is 37. Another point to be noted over here is earlier the question which was 7 now has become 8 over here because we have moved to the next number after 35 which is exactly divisible by 5 that is we have moved to 40. So in the same way now we shall solve the question which is related to polynomial. So now the question in case of polynomial is what must be added to x raised to power 5 minus x raised to power 4 plus 3x cube plus 4x square minus 3x minus 3 so that the sum may be exactly divisible by x square plus 1. So let us assume the number to be added be a. So we will get the new dividend as x raised to power 5 minus x raised to power 4 plus 3x cube plus 4x square minus 3x minus 3 plus a and the divisor is x square plus 1. Now let us further set our problem. The divisor will come outside and dividend will come inside and we shall start with the three steps of long division that is division, multiplication and subtraction. So let us start with the first step of division. So we shall take up the first term of the dividend and divide it by the first term of the divisor that is x raised to power 5 shall be divided by x square and we shall get x cube which is our quotient which we will write on the top. Now second step is multiplication so we shall multiply x cube with each term of the divisor. So x cube into x square we shall get x raised to power 5 and x cube into 1 we shall get x cube. Now while writing x raised to power 5 we shall write just below x raised to power 5 and x cube we, wish, we shall write just below 3x cube. That is we have to make sure that we write the product just below the like terms. And in between we don't have a term with x raised to power 4. So we can just write 0 over there. Now we shall move to the third step of subtraction for which we will first of all change the signs. So plus will become minus. 
Now plus x raised to power 5 and minus x raised to power 5 will stand cancel. Minus x raised to power 4 and minus 0 we shall get minus x raised to power 4. Then 3x cube minus x cube we shall get plus 2x cube. And further we shall bring down 4x square from the dividend. Now this we have to solve using the three steps once again. So first step is division. We shall divide minus x raised to power 4 by x square and we shall get the new term of the question that is minus x square. Now we shall multiply minus x square with each term of the divisor. So minus x square into x square we shall get minus x raised to power 4 and minus x square and into 1 we shall get minus x square. While writing this product, we shall make sure that we'll write just below the like terms. So minus x raised to power 4 will be written just below minus x raised to power 4. And minus x square, we shall write just below 4x square. Now further, we shall move to third step of subtraction. First of all, let us change signs. All the minus will become plus and plus will become minus. Now further, minus x raised to power 4 and plus x raised to power 4 will stand cancel. 2x cube minus 0 we shall get 2x cube and 4x square plus x square we shall get 5x square and further we shall bring down minus 3x. Now we have to solve this using the three steps all over again. So first step is division. So we shall divide 2x cube by x square and we shall get 2x. Now 2x we shall multiply by each term of the divisor. So 2x into x square we shall get 2x cube and 2x into 1 we shall get 2x. And while writing this product we shall make sure that we write just below the like terms. Like 2x cube will come just below 2x cube and 2x will come below minus 3x. Now we shall take up the next uh, step of subtraction. So for that we shall change the sign. All the plus over here will become minus. Now plus 2x cube and minus 2x cube will stand cancel. 5x square minus 0 we shall get 5x square. Minus 3x and minus 2x we shall get minus 5x. And further we shall bring down minus 3. And now we have to solve this using the three steps. So first step is division. We shall divide 5x square by x square and we shall get 5. Now we shall multiply 5 with each term of the divisor. So 5 into x square we shall get 5x square. 5 into 1 we shall get 5. Now while writing this product we shall write just below the like terms. So 5x square will be written just below 5x square and plus 5 will be written just below minus 3. And in between we can insert 0. Now let us move to third step of subtraction. So first of all we shall change the signs. Plus 5x square will become minus 5x square and plus 5 we shall write minus 5. Now plus 5x square and minus 5x square will stand cancel. Minus 5x and minus 0 we shall get minus 5x. Minus 3 and minus 5 we shall get minus 8. And further we shall bring down plus 8. Now this is our remainder. We cannot solve it further since the degree of the divisor is now more than the degree of the remainder. As you can see the power of the x variable in the divisor is 2 and power of the x variable in the remainder is 1. So we should stop the revision process and we shall say that Question is x cube minus x square plus 2x plus 5 and remainder is minus 5x minus 8 plus a. Now according to the question we had added a term a to the dividend so that it is exactly divisible by x square plus 1. Now since we are getting the remainder as minus 5x minus 8 plus a so we have to find the value of a such that uh, minus 5x minus 8 plus a is completely divisible by x square plus 1. So we need to equate both that is we need to write minus 5x minus 8 plus a should be equal to x square plus 1. Now a is equal to x square plus 1 plus 5x plus 8 since we have transposed minus 5x and minus 8 on the other side and they have become plus. Now further 1 plus 8 is 9. So a is equal to x square plus 5x plus 9. So we can say the number to be added is x square plus 5x plus 9. Now when we add this number to the original dividend, we get the new dividend. Therefore we can write new dividend is equal to original dividend that is x raised to power 5 
minus x raised to power 4 plus 3x cube plus 4x square minus 3x minus 3 plus the number to be added that is x square plus 5x plus 9 and we get the new dividend that is the new sum you can say as x raised to power 5 minus x raised to power 4 plus 3x cube plus 5x square plus 2x plus 6. So now we can say the new dividend is completely divisible by x square plus 1 when we added x square plus 5x plus 9 to the original dividend. Now further we can check our answer also by dividing the new dividend by the divisor that is x square plus 1 and we got the remainder as 0. Over here the question has increased by 1 that is earlier the question was x cube minus x square plus 2x plus 5 and now the new question has uh, become x cube minus x square plus 2x plus 6. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned this type of questions like what should be added to the dividend so that the sum is exactly divisible by divisor. Please do like and subscribe my channel and give your feedback in the comment section. Thank you students.